I think one of the things that we think about a lot is joy and what brings us joy. When we look outside and we see this beautiful valley, that brings joy. When we share a glass of wine together, that brings joy. I'm really proud of the wines that we make at St. Supri, and I think every year we're just making that bar higher and higher and improving the quality. There's just been this continuous focus on innovation and improvement for the last 40 years, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next 40 hold. I love having the two different vineyards at St. Supery because both vineyards are very distinct. The Dollarhide Vineyard is in the northeastern corner of Napa Valley. It's over 1,535 acres with rolling hills, seven lakes, seven soil series, and 13 soil variations. Completely different than what we have here in Rutherford where less than 200 feet above sea level. We've got this beautiful alluvial soil that produces wines with a very fine grain tannin. Being a state grown, we own all of our own vineyards and we only make wine from those vineyards. When I started my career, it was explained to me the importance of being in a state winery, having that control over your vineyard all the way to the bottle. It brings about a consistency, a real honesty about place and where those wines are born. St. Supery was founded in 1982 by the Scally family. Robert Scally's family had been in the wine business since 1920 in the south of France. Then in 1985, he purchased the winery property here on Highway 29 in Rutherford. Robert Scully was quite instrumental in the south of France in creating the concept of sapage, or variety labeled wines. Robert's the guy that had the vision that created St. Supri, which is why we're all here today. He had a great focus on his vineyards initially, but with a goal to create a great glass of wine. Today, we continue that. We still understand that the quality of our wines is dependent on our vineyards, and I think Robert really brought that about. We were purchased by Chanel in October of 2015. We're the first winery that Chanel owns in the United States. We have their full support to continue our efforts to continuously improve our wine quality, to invest in the property and the people. Winemaking is a collaborative process. It is great to share ideas and learn new ideas. We've been working with Michel Roland since 1996. He's the most renowned wine consultant in the world. He brings to us some really good insight and thoughts and observations, along with just his skill at blending, his, his skill at what he does. Rutherford is just so fantastic for growing red wines. Those wines show a lot of dark fruit, but they also have this unique terroir tannin that they call the Rutherford dust, and it gives it this kind of cocoa powder texture. Then we have the Dollarhide Ranch, and that is quite different in the fact that it has high elevation location. It's more of a mountain type of a state. You therefore have a variation in soils, and those soils bring about different sort of wines in Texas and what have you, quite a diverse place. Every year since 2010, we've put in something that's improved the quality. Our optical sorting system that we began implementing in 2012, we saw a huge jump in quality once we were able to sort every single red berry. Our sustainability efforts are foremost in all of our vineyard activities. We're paying attention to everything that we do, ensuring that the land is healthy for future generations. We first started in the land program of Napa Green, and in 2008 is when we first got certified. In 2012, we got our first Napa Green certification in the winery. Becoming Napa Green certified did take a lot of work. We had to first do a complete audit and figure out how we were doing on energy, water, and then you just start to take a hard look at that and just start improving. Many people know us for our bottle of wine, but I think we will be remembered and recognized as leaders in sustainably farming wine grapes. All of this effort that we're doing in the winery to save water and energy, it does equal better wine. The legacy of St. Supri, I think, are to be about great wines while being great stewards of the land. I would hope that St. Supri would be known for the fact that we're 100% estate grown, produced, and bottled, and that we take that to heart.